Hi, today I'm going to talk about many-to-many -many relationships in Adalo. If this is the first video you're watching with me, I strongly encourage you to go back and watch the video that we have on our database, on data types, and on one-to-many and many-to-one relationships. In our one-to-many and many-to-one relationships video, we covered a lot about why relationships are important and how to access them in Adalo. In the many-to-many -many video, I thought it'd be helpful if I just walked through an actual example and kind of created a two-screen app here. To begin, many-to-many -many relationships are when many records in one collection relate to many records in another. Let's look at what that means here. When I go ahead and open up my database, all I have done here in my users collection, which the app I am creating is for teachers who want to keep track of their students. Perhaps we're gonna save information around grades or homework or attendance or something like that. But let's just say the people who will log into this app are teachers and they are considered the users of our app. So in here, I have the typical user collection properties that come with every user collection in Adalo. And then I added a relational property to students. So if I come over here, I would add a property relationship to students. A relationship screen would come up. And this basically reads like a teacher can have multiple students and a student can have multiple teachers. And that's exactly how school, especially in university or something like that, works. There are lots of students and they go to lots of classes that have different teachers. So I obviously also have a collection for our students. And in here, all I have is our student name. And again, that relationship back to the users collection where I placed teachers. If you look inside our users collection, you can see that I have multiple teachers, teachers one through teacher five. And in our many to many relationship, you can see that several of the teachers have multiple students in their class. If we click into one of these records, we can see student A, student C, student F, and student G all appear under teacher two. If we come over to our students collection and view the records, we can see in our teachers column that we have student G has two teachers, three teachers for student F and so on and so forth. If we click into our record here, you can see the various teachers that student F is learning from. A many to many relationship means that each student can have multiple teachers that another student has and vice versa. Each teacher can have many students that other teachers also have. To view how our many-to-many -many relationships may be used inside of an app, let's go ahead and do a little bit of designing. Here, we're just gonna place some text in our app to explain that this is our teachers list. Let's change the font size here to be something a little bit more reasonable. All right, and then we're gonna add a simple list because we'd like to see all of our teachers listed here in a list. So we're gonna make this a list of teachers as in from our users collection. We're going to utilize magic text here to pull out the full name of the teacher. We're gonna get rid of our subtitle, and we're also going to disable our left section because we don't have a lot of information in our database right now, so I just want to show a very simple example. Next, what we'd like to do here is add an action, and this action is going to link to a new screen, and this is going to be our student's screen. In our student screen, we want to be able to show another list of students. And our filter that we're going to apply here is the current user. So that means the teacher name that we click on and their students. 
In our title, we'll go ahead and put the student name, and then again, we'll turn off our subtitle and we'll turn off our left section. Great. Let's also add a piece of text here that says, well, our current user's full name is student list. So what this is going to show is the teacher name that I've selected here and then student list. And then it will list the student's names. All right, there is one more thing that I would like to do here. I would like to place a button to go back so I can show you what it looks like with multiple, when I'm clicking through multiple different teachers. Great. All right, now let's go and view our very, very simple app. I'm logged in as one of our users. And as you can see, we have a list of teachers teacher one through teacher five, which is the same information that you saw in the database earlier. If I go ahead and click on teacher four, you can see that teacher four student list is these four students. If I go back and I hit teacher two, I can see that teacher two has a student list that looks different than teacher four. However, I do believe they've got an overlap of one student, student F maybe? So that is why it's important to use a many-to-many -many relationship here because you're going to be able to see that there is overlap between two different collections and you don't have to create repeat records and unique IDs and all of that sort of stuff that makes your database really cluttered. In the description of this video, I am going to put a few different examples of how people use many-to-many -many relationships in their apps to help you get your brain jogging on what exactly you need to have many-to-many -many relationships for in your app. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I will respond as soon as possible. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.